I want to show a characteristic of these gyros that is a bit uh, confusing at first, but it's just, just how it works. Um, I have my uh, aileron with a, a gyro, and if you watch my stick, you'll notice that it will reach full deflection before I get the stick all the way to the end. Okay, so it's reached full deflection on the aileron, it's not moving anymore, but I can still kind of move the stick, okay? That is something that happens when you've got the gyro on the ground here, and it's not in movement, but it actually will um, uh, uh, have that sensitivity in the air. Uh, another thing I've got here is I've programmed my ailerons. See if I can get a, a shot of it here. I've got my ailerons set up for 100% here for the dual rate switch. Then I flip it and it goes to 125%. Now I'm going to go full left deflection. Okay, and I'm going to flip my switch back and forth, and you can see that it doesn't make a difference. It's not moving. Okay, that's just because this particular gyro, which is the GY48B, I've got two of them on there, one on aileron, one on uh, elevator. And what, for some reason, this gyro, when it's not rotating, the control throws don't match what it would be like when you don't have the gyro. That's perfectly normal. I uh, shot some footage of the airplane flying in both 100% and 125%. And you, you can see, you'll be able to see that the difference between the two, there is a definite change in roll rate. Uh, what I encourage people to do is to set up the control throws to uh, set up your uh, travel adjust on your transmitter and your dual rates for 100%. And then set up the, the travel that you want for your control throws using the limit dial. Okay, here we go. The limit dial that's on the uh, gyro. That's how you're going to set up the travel for the, for the aileron and then set up your gain for 30 percent. If you have dual rates, set up a dual rates for 100 percent one way and say 50 percent the other way. Go out and fly it and see how it is. Okay? And if you need more roll rate, increase your travel adjust or increase your, uh, your dual rates to get more roll rate. That's how you have to, uh, to play with it. You're not going to be able to do this on the ground and say, okay, I want so much control throw here and so much control, control throw there. You're going to have to fly it and try it out. So this is perfectly normal that I have full left aileron, and even though I've programmed in 125% for my dual rates, the ailerons are not moving at all. Okay, and when I give it aileron, at some point it's going to stop. Depending upon the gyro uh, and your radio and how you got it programmed, it might stop when you move the stick about this much. Okay, that's that, I've found that to be perfectly normal. Um, and when I've set up an airplane for 30% gain. Uh, there, I've yet to have a plane that's so uncontrollable that it, it's hard to uh, hard to fly. So you got to just go out there and fly it, try it out. And if you need more, if you want more roll rate, uh, then then play with your travel adjust on the transmitter. Don't change the limit dial on the gyro. That should be set up for the maximum throws that you'll ever want to have. But if you want to get more roll rate or less roll rate, change your dual rate numbers or your travel adjust. To get that, and once again, don't worry about how you move the stick and, and the ailerons don't change when you're moving the dual rates. That's perfectly normal. Some gyros do this, and some don't. Uh, once again, I've you know most of my experience is with the GY48B. Okay, and that's how this works. I got it.
Uh, just to show a different gyro, what I've done here is I have tacked on a uh, let me see here. I've tacked on a Futaba GY401 um, onto my GY48B. So I've wired this Futaba as the aileron gyro instead of the 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 GY48B. And as you can see, it does the same thing. I'm going to go full left aileron. Let me see here. Move this over here. I'm going to go full left aileron and I'm going to flip the dual rate switch and you can see the aileron's not moving. Okay, so it does the same thing that that other gyro does. To show the same uh, thing happens in yet another gyro, here's a Logitech LGT 2100T. Okay, that's a MEMS gyro uh, used in helicopters and I've got it set up I'm going to show you the tail slider, which is a, a good way to, to illustrate it. Okay, I've got the tail slider here, and I've got the radio. So this is on the rudder, and it's in rate mode because when I move the stick, it goes to the end, and when I let go, it immediately comes back. Heading hold, I move it to the end, and it stays there. Okay, go back to rate mode. Now, as I move the stick, let's see if we can illustrate this here. Okay, about at this point, the tail slider is not moving any further, but I can still move my stick. Okay, the tail slider stopped. I can still move the stick. Okay, in rate mode and without the, heli the helicopter or the control surface, actually the, the, the vehicle moving, the gyro is going to act differently on the ground. Uh, when I'm flying, okay, and I move the stick here, I'm, it's going to rotate at a certain rate. When I move the stick all the way over here, it's going to increase rotation, even though on the ground the control surface is not uh, moving any further. It's actually going to move more in the air. That's perfectly normal. That's quite common on a lot of the uh, helicopter gyros in rate mode.